Hey everybody, Jason here for this week's edition of Weekly Highlights. Um, so uh, this week I'm going to do a little bit different. Um, I mean, not really, but I'm kind of doing the um, fall Yankee scent reviews because I had a chance to um, try all six of the new fragrances in tart form this week. So I thought about doing just a separate video. Uh, but I thought, why not just include it in, in the weekly highlights. So I'm just going to kind of go through. I don't have any other tarts to show you but Yankee. Um, so um, I do have a few more than just the new fall ones. But I'm going to go through those pretty quickly and go through the candles. So mostly we're going to talk about the new fall fragrances. Um, so I'll just start off with uh, the regular stuff. This is the stuff that I finished this week. Uh, I finished three candles, and really, I've been averaging two to three candles a week, finishing uh, two to three candles a week. So to me, that's that's progress, and um, I am definitely whittling away at some of my candle uh, stash. I just I don't know why I freak out when I have too many, or I feel like I have too many. So. Um, it just makes more room, and yes, I'm sure they'll be replaced soon enough by new candles, but I haven't bought anything this week, <clears throat> and um, so, and or last week. So I finished, you know, three this week, and I think I finished two last week. So, you know, that's five candles that have been finished, and um, and two weeks without buying any candles. So, so that's good. I, you know, sometimes it's the little things. I finished Market Peach. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't super strong, but it had an okay throw. Now, as you can see, there's some residue on the side. It really gave me trouble in the beginning, and then towards the end, it, it's like it wanted to get a full wax pull, but it just had a little bit of trouble. Sometimes I had to burn it for a long, long time. Um, but then towards the end, it it fixed itself and um, burned pretty nicely. So I don't use cozies or sleeves or anything on my candles. I know a lot of people do and actually some of those candle uh, sleeves are pretty but I actually really like labels so I like to I don't want to cover up my candle labels because I actually uh, really enjoy them so um, I don't use the cozies or the um, sleeves like a lot of people do to help them burn right so for me it's like for slackkin especially I just a lot of times they will will correct themselves if you burn them a long time so that's what I try to do just if I have one that's kind of giving me trouble I burn it burn it until it kind of fixes itself if it doesn't fix itself on the rare occasion it doesn't fix itself I will take it back but I haven't had to take a slackkin candle back in a long time I think um, mango beech wood like last spring was the last one that I took back. Tiki Beach, I finished this one up today, or not today, this week. Um, I really like this scent. This has a very nice throw to me. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, the wax looks a little ugly. It's uh, a creamy color, but it's got some gunk mixed in there. Um, it just burned. I guess that's the soot got into the cream colored wax. So, um, But the smell was really good. It burned well. Um, and I just really like the scent. It's coconutty, but there's something else. What is it? Because I don't love coconut, but whatever it's mixed with, uh, it's got toasted co coconut, vanilla musk, and I think it's that musky. Um, it says tropical island orchids. I didn't really smell floral, but um, yeah, it's that soft musky. Um, it just really reminds you of a warm night at the beach um, so the coconut's not too overpowering I actually really liked it and then finished up apples and berries now if some of you will recall I only bought this maybe three weeks ago maybe a month <coughs> so it definitely and I burned it you know semi-frequently so these Walmart candles they burn fast so definitely I felt like um, it was it was okay for five dollars. It wasn't worth any more than five dollars. And I will say that I think the throw started off decent, and then as it burned down, like with Yankee candles, 
Um, usually, to me, they get stronger as you burn them down. Not so with this. This actually got weaker, and um, towards the end, I couldn't even really smell it. So, I kind of think that you get what you pay for. Um, I tried the mainstays. I would, in a pinch, like I said, if I was just needing, I would needed a candle, and I only had a little bit of money, I I would buy uh, a mainstays again. Actually, I, I might go for the hazelnut cream. I keep smelling it every time I'm there. But, um, yeah, you, these aren't the best candles. But it burned really nicely, and I did, and I enjoyed it. For five bucks, it, it, I can't complain too much. And then I'm burning tonight cucumber and cantaloupe, and I love this one. I think I've, I've uh, mentioned it in another video. It's very, very true to actual fresh cucumber and cantaloupe. It's just so good. I really like this. It does take a while for it to get uh, going uh, with the throw, but once it's been burning a while, it really you get that uh, fresh cucumber and cantaloupe scent. It's not super strong, but it has a, a good throw. Um, and with it tonight, I have paired it with, where is it, fruit salad. So I've got fruit salad on the tart warmer with it. It's just now getting warming, war melting, <laughs> excuse me. It's just now melting, so I'm just starting to smell it. But yeah, it smells really nice. It's a good scent. Um, and there I go. There it is. Okay, so fruit salad. And then in the other room, I've got pomegranate cider melting. Uh, it's just a really good, I think it's considered a fall scent, but to me um, it's just a tart, bright, fruity scent with just a, a hint of spice. It's not real fall-like. This week I was just in the mood for pumpkin buttercream, so um, I went ahead and melted one. I have several of these, so. And actually this one, I don't know if it was a dud, but it just didn't smell as strong as I remembered it last year. But that could very well be the air conditioning and the fans that I have going. Um, sometimes that does hinder the throw. And um, and let me tell you, I've had them blasting this week. So um, I tried Napa Valley Sun for the first time. Now this is interesting because this is listed. Um, if you look at the large jar, it's listed under fruit. And I just never really, I'm not like a fan of the vineyard. I love grapevine and oak, and actually I like Napa Valley Harvest. But I, for some reason, just thought this was probably similar to like the vineyard, like a really fruity grapey scent. So I didn't, I never picked it up. I don't even think I smelled it cold, like I just never picked it up. And then, I don't know, I think I got this um, on clearance for really, really cheap. I think uh, when I got those 10 cent tarts, so um, I picked it up and it's actually really nice. It's it's totally different than what I expected. It's a it's not a fruit, it's listed under fruit. Uh, if you look at the jar, it says fruit. This There's nothing fruit about this. There's no fruit whatsoever. Um, to me, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of powdery. It's definitely a fresh scent, but it's kind of a, like a powdery, musky, amber type scent with just a hint of vanilla in the background. Um, there's absolutely no fruit, no grape, so don't pick that up thinking that you're going to smell any kind of fruit. But actually, I was quite pleasantly surprised. Um, it almost borderlined on the too powdery for me. I can't do too powdery, but this um, just worked for me. Um, like if it had been any more powdery, I would have been like, eh. But um, actually this was so nice and had a very good throw. I was surprised at, at um, the scent strength of it. Um, so actually I really liked it. I think I have a couple more, so um, it was a pleasant surprise. Then I melted the classic Sun and Sand. Now this is, I have to be in the mood for this scent. Um, I don't love it like a lot of people do. I've never had the candle. Um, but I do like to use it in the tart occasionally in the summertime. So um, this week there was just one day where I thought, you know what, I'm going to throw in sun and sand. And it's a really nice scent. It does smell like um, copper tone suntan lotion. Um, it really does smell like suntan lotion. So, But that's not a bad thing. It's just one of those things I only want to smell once in a while. 
so but it was a hot day and I threw it in the warmer it's got a good throw and so I can't remember what I burned with it but it was really nice I think drift away so um, yeah I enjoyed it then amber glow one of my favorite fresh scents I love the scent um, now this is different from the amber and Napa Valley Sun but it is it's a more musky and masculine uh, amber uh, but I really really like it and then Oceanside this was another pleasant surprise um, I don't usually love the ocean scents but um, you know they're fine but I don't gravitate towards them so I kind of bypassed this one for a long time and then um, once I tried it I was like wow this is so nice it's very soothing very relaxing and I have one stuck together oh summer fresh Summer Fresh is one I have to be in the mood for too. As you can see, I always say I have to be in the mood for it for a lot of these summery type scents, and I do. I mean, you know, I, l I prefer my uh, bakery and spice, but I do like these. I want to um, use them sometimes in the summer, but um, I, I have to be in the right mood for them. But I do enjoy it, and last night it was the perfect mood for this. I was cleaning, and I threw it in the warmer, and it just made the house smell extra clean. It's got a little bit of a, almost a lemon-lime note, um, but there's something fresh in there mixed in, maybe a little grass or something, so um, it's, it's really nice for a change. So that's uh, basically all the tarts that I'm going to show you, except for the six new fall fragrances. Let me take a drink and <clears throat> wet my whistle real quick here so I can get to talking about these. Mm. So I'm so excited. I had to, I got all six of these this week. My dear friend Richie, um, he is my fellow, I call him my wax sister. We call each other our, um, he's my wax sister, I'm his wax sister. So um, it's just our little little thing but um, yeah so he hoards tarts worse than I do and he was like you know what I've got a bunch of extra scents I'm sending you a box so I got this great big box of tarts thank you Richie I'm not going to show the entire box because there were a lot of tarts in there um, of different Yankee candle scents and um, it was fabulous and I, I'm so thankful for them um, but also in the box were all six of the new fall fragrances. So I was really excited because I had not um, smelled any of them yet except for Apple Pumpkin because I had it last year and Treehouse Memories um, because um, I had the motive. So I was super, super excited. So I'm just going to go in the order that I melted each one. The first one I... Um, tore open and threw in the warmer with Seasons Blessings. Um, this is so nice. Now, not everybody's going to like this scent. I'm smelling it right through the on the plastic. And um, this is so good. This is fruity. Um, you want to kind of think maybe autumn fruit. You get some pears. You get some apples. Um, this one definitely has grape in it. Now, I don't usually love grape, but with the other fruits mixed in, I can handle it. And then you get the spice. Now, it's not a cinnamon-type spice, although there may be a touch of it, but it's not like a, a cinnamony-type scent. This is a cardamom. So I'm learning that I actually really like, I, I don't know that I've ever used the spice in real life, but I know it's in another scent that I like, Good Morning. Um, and it's a unique spice it, it's it's different it spices the fragrance but it's not your run-of-the-mill cinnamon nutmeg type fragrance so hard to describe but um, with the fruits and the spice it is such a nice scent and this was really really strong the um, the throw for the first tea light was really strong I know that this is jar worthy for me I will be getting a jar of it to me the screams early early fall this is the um, probably one that I will light probably September 1st um, as soon as I can get my hands on the large jar <clears throat> for, on a really good deal I'm hoping for I'm holding out for a BOGO um, usually towards the end of August 
if history is any indication, there will be um, like a BOGO sale or a BOGO coupon. <clears throat> so, hoping for that, and because I'm definitely getting a jar of Seasons Blessings. And um, it's like, like I said, like an early fall for me type scent. Um, then the next one I melted. Oh, I was so excited. The one that I was most excited for, Harvest Welcome, because everybody said, or well, not everybody. I actually, the funny thing about this scent is that I heard it described as a, like smelling like a bunch of other Yankee scents. I heard, oh, it smells just like Spiced Pumpkin. Oh, it smells just like Frosted Pumpkin. Oh, it smells just like, um, I mean, there were even weird ones, like, I'm like, how could it smell like all of these? Uh, I think somebody said, um, oh, now I'm drawing a blank. But anyways, a lot of pe different people said it smelled like other fall Yankee scents. Uh, but the one that came up the most was, oh, this smells like Moonlight Harvest. So I loved Moonlight Harvest. I still love it. And um, so I was really excited to smell this. It's labeled under fresh, so I didn't know what to expect. So this was the one I was most excited about. And I have to say it smells a, a lot like Moonlight Harvest. So <clears throat> not everybody's going to like this scent. Um, it is labeled fresh, um, but it is a very spicy scent. You get the spicy pumpkin, uh, but there's some kind of other fresh note in it. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's a very, very unique fragrance. Um, I mean, I would say it's unique if you hadn't smelled Moonlight Harvest, <laughs> but it, it does very much smell like Moonlight Harvest. I think this might be a little sweeter, so... But yeah, I mean, I, I totally get it. And um, it's just just different enough where I will get a, a jar of it. I do have Moonlight Harvest, and I love this label. So it's just different enough, and the label is just cute enough that I will be getting a large jar of Harvest Welcome as well. So the next one I tried was Whoopie Pie. Whoopie Pie. Um, actually, I'm not a big, huge fan of chocolate scents, so I didn't expect to really like this, and like the chocolate truffle, the chocolate bunnies, um, the, a f several years ago they had a chocolate cupcake, which I did not like, and to me did not smell like real chocolate cupcakes. Um, I, I don't like any of those, so I wasn't expecting to like this, but... I was surprised. Now I would have to be in the mood for this and I probably wouldn't get it in a large candle. But this is um, really, really nice. It really does smell like, like I don't know, uh, Whoopie Pie isn't um, in this area of the country. It's a regional treat, I'm guessing, I'm hearing, um, that it's like back east or maybe in New England, very popular, but I here we don't have Whoopie Pie. So I had never heard of it until the scent came out. And I love how it's got an exclamation point. It's whoopie pie! <laughs> so I always make sure when I type it or something, I always make sure and put that exclamation point. I like it. So, um, but yeah, it smells like fresh baked, baked brownies to me. So now uh, some of you may eat whoopie pies. It looks delicious on the front. I love chocolate to eat, but... Um, so surprisingly, I actually do like this one melting as well. Um, like I said, I would probably only burn it occasionally, but it was very nice and had a very nice throw. Uh, the first tea light, the, the second tea light, it, it faded a lot. Then we have apple pumpkin. Now this is the hit of last season. This was the sleeper hit. Um, they made it in the limited edition in the blue ribbon line and it proved so popular and it sold out before September. I mean, in August it was hard to find. I managed to get my, my hands on a large jar last year and some tarts, but I mean, pretty much the large jars were wiped out by September and, um, and they just couldn't, they didn't make enough and the scent proved to be so popular. Um, it's so good. It's it's a little spicy, but not too spicy. It's a little sweet, but not too sweet. Um, it's definitely mixed um, 
maybe the apple pot I mean apple note is a little stronger than the pumpkin but I mean it's mixed very well it's just such a nice fall fragrance it really screams fall so I love this scent um, I do feel like the scent is spot on from last year I do feel like um, at least this particular tart was a little weaker than I remember this being last year. I'm hoping it was just a dud, but I will definitely be getting another large jar for this fall. I cannot wait because I love this scent. So good. Um, and then Treehouse Memories. Um, I burned uh, the boat of a couple of weeks ago and uh, I think um, I gave it an okay review. Actually, upon melting this, um, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, again, it smells like a old man cologne or aftershave. And it's really kind of a dated kind of scent. Um, I, I wanted to like it, but I, I just don't think I really like it that much. Um, and actually, I was surprised because the votive for a votive was pretty strong, but this tart didn't throw very well. So. Um, I, it was pretty weak, I actually thought, so um, actually probably won't do too much of Treehouse Memories. And then I saved the strongest for last. Caramel Pecan Pie was the strongest of the six. It was by far the strongest, richest fragrance of the new fall fragrances. It was so delicious. I love this. This will definitely be a large jar so I mean out of uh, I'm getting four of them seasons blessings um, apple pumpkin the uh, harvest welcome and then this one for sure so um, I love this scent um, at first cold I thought it smelled a little like be thankful uh, but then when you when you melt it it actually becomes more of its own fragrance so don't sniff it cold and think, oh, it's, it's be thankful, because it's, it's not. Um, once you melt it, you're going to get that full, rich, uh, creamy caramel. Maybe a little bit of the nut note, and then um, maybe a even a little bit of crest note. But it all comes together to make one very decadent, rich fragrance. So this would be fabulous to have burning um, in November around Thanksgiving. Um, I can just see November having caramel pecan pie, pumpkin pie, be thankful, all burning in the same room together, just smelling wonderful. Oh, it's so good. So that is all six of the new fall fragrances. If I had to pick a favorite, that'd be so hard. Um, because all four of the ones that I really like, I really, really like them. Then Whoopie Pie was actually a nice... Um, a nice surprise and then I just don't love Treehouse Memories but that's okay because five out of six ain't bad um, this to me puts last year's fall line to shame um, this is much better than last year's fall line it's not my favorite of Yankees fall line ever but um, very very good so and four large jars gotta haves so thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed the video and I have a feeling this is one of my longer ones. So <laughs> have a good one. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.